time to um, start putting the, the sprinkler heads onto the end of the pipes. Now there's a few things here, I'll, I'll just go through a few of the items that are from the Hunter range that um, we need to use. Now this is the, the main sprinkler head. Now the difference between this at the moment is we haven't got um, the actual um, MP rotator in. We've just At the moment it comes with a blank. Now the good thing with the blank is you break that little tab off and it allows you to um, get water flow through it after you've done it so you can do a flush of the system. You don't want to put these heads in until the system's been fully flushed and the good thing about these is that they, when they come up under pressure and spray, they'll spray out enough water to clean out the dirt that you've probably got in the pipe that you don't realise from the time that we installed it. So that's a really good feature with the, these Hunter um, Pro spray heads. Uh, and then once we've got all the system fully sprayed, then we can screw in the MP rotor that we've designed from our design. But today, the first thing we have to do is actually connect this to the pipe. Now what I've got here is a swing joint. Now the good thing about these swing joints, they screw straight into the bottom of the, of the sprinkler, the Pro sprinkler head. And the nice thing about these is, is that they give you some ability to adjust the height. Now you want the, the head just below the surface of the grass so it doesn't get caught when you're mowing, but you want it pretty much flush. So this, this joint gives you the ability to, to adjust the head up and down um, and a little bit of movement in it so that you can get it just right. If you were to fix that straight onto the pipe itself, you wouldn't have that flexibility. And also over time, you may find that you've got to add soil to the, to the ground, which could adjust the height. And you may have to lift this up in a few years time, for example, and this joint allows you to do that a lot more simply. So that's the job we do now. We want to cut the pipe to join this onto the pipe and get the head right where we want it. And then after that, once we've got all the heads in, we can then flush them using this particular um, head type before we put the MP rotator in. Okay, I'm just going to get this just at the right, the right height and the right position to cut this pipe where I want it to be. So I'll just adjust that around. Get this at the right height and then cut my pipe. Okay, that's around there. Nice cutting tool, save using. Um, it's nice and safe and very easy to use. Well worth the investment for a job like this. Probably cost you 30 or 40 bucks. Also got my ratchet. As always, put that on first. Again, the shoving and pushing to get the pipe on nice and tight. That's on nice and tight. And now this is where it comes into its own. I can just adjust this up, fill up underneath it with some soil and get this just at the level where it's right, just even just slightly, if anything, slightly below, but pretty much level with the ground because your head will come up probably about um, 75 mil or so and be clear of the grass so it allows you to cut the grass reasonably high and not catch the head in your mower so you just want to get that just right but this is what this why the swing joint is so good i can move this around up and down to get it right where i want it fill the dirt in around me another reason why these are also good i'm not getting rubbish in my mp rotator head Fill this back in here with a bit of dirt. Right. Might put a little bit more dirt around that, but basically I'll fill this up a bit better and neaten it up. But this gives me my head it's just right. And even here I can still adjust that up and down a little bit, that swing joint to get it just right. So there, that's the first head in and that's all we have to do at every case. Okay, I've got all the heads in for the swing joints. One of the really good things about these, this particular hunter valves is that this when the pop-up comes up. They've got this grey blank in it, which allows us to flush the lines before we put the heads in. And no matter how much you try, there's bound to be dirt in those heads. You don't want to get them in the, in the actual um, the heads at the end. So what we can do is turn the system on now and um, let the water flush through those and at least get some of the, the gunk out of it before we put the heads in. Now it's time to put the correct head in the correct position from your design. The three different head types can be adjusted from 90 to 210 degrees 210 degrees to 270 degrees or fixed at 360 degrees. Each head has a notch near the top. The notch should be positioned at the start of the arc on the left hand side. 
Simply twist the body and the head until the notch is in the correct position. Then adjust the arc to the angle you require with the MP tool or simply with your fingers. Counterclockwise reduces the arc, clockwise increases the arc. You can increase the distance plus or minus 20%. This is done by adjusting the screw on the top of the head. And now you're ready to go. If this video was helpful, you can get a lot more information on our website, completelandscapes.co.nz or check out other videos on our YouTube channel.